Paul Williams was appointed to the National Board of Municipal Housing in 1940, and that was kind of his introduction to public housing. And then Frank Shaw also appointed him to this housing authority of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So this was Pueblo del Rio, 1941. This, the opening of it was something to celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There was a great deal of optimism. Yeah. Not just about the promise of public housing to make life better for working families, but also the kind of active role of government in making you know, concrete changes in, in the daily lives of ordinary people. Yeah. It was kind of an optimistic spirit in, in, and a faith in government to take care of its citizens. The architects believed that the residents of these, these projects would enjoy the full amenities of a modern, progressive society, replete with modern amenities, modern infrastructure. That was part of the vision as well. So these were blue-collar families, yes. mostly. And, and where, where were they living before? A lot of them came to Los Angeles to find employment. This was part of a great migration of people to Los Angeles, and the war was kind of a magnet bringing people to LA to find work. I mean, jobs were booming in the Los Angeles wartime economy. You know, in many ways, World War II is what made LA a modern city. Um, so I suspect a lot of these people came from other parts of, of the state and the country mm -hmm. um, to find work and housing and, and ultimately a better life in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. 